Since its launch in December, Step N, an app that lets users walk and hurry to earn tokens, has quickly become a household name in the play-to-earn blockchain gaming, or GameFi, world. A few million users worldwide are presently active on the app every month, Stepn's co-founder Jerry Huang recently told TechCrunch. That number is nowhere close to the 100 million player size enjoyed by popular Web 2 titles, yet in the world of crypto, it's a meaningful breakthrough for a five-month-old app. As of May 22, the market cap of Stepn's native token GMT remained at around $860 million. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Founded by Huang and his co-founder Yan Rong in Adelaide, Australia, Step N debuted at a Solana hackathon in October. After coming in fourth, its exposure at the event helped land its first batch of beta users. When it officially launched two months later, words about the app that let one earn by remaining fit had already spread inside the blockchain community. With no splashy promotion campaign, scores of users signed up. In weeks, Step N was developing quick to the point that the team needed to cap the number of daily registrations. Presently, Tens of thousands of new users are joining the app per day, according to Huang. Huang, a serial entrepreneur, and Rong, a blockchain venture capitalist, were self-funding the project at first for the pair were financially stable. But in September, they decided that fundraising could acquire other meaningful resources such as partnerships and publicity. The founders spoke to over 100 investors and revised their pitch deck over 40 times before closing a $5 million seed round from Sequoia Capital and others in November. We didn't have a product at that point, and numerous investors couldn't understand what we were doing. Indeed Sequoia did. The process of addressing investor questions also helped us refine the product to where it was later, said Huang. Indeed, the fast-developing app appears to be self-sustainable for now. It's generating $3 to $5 million in net profit from exchanging fees a day, and earning up to $100 million every month. In April, it picked up another round of strategic investment from Binance. Is it a game? Some argue what makes Step N and other play-to-earn blockchain games like Axie Infinity successful is the fact that they are essentially financial products with a gamified twist. To begin earning tokens and logging one's mileage on Step N, Users need to first spend no less than 12 sol or around $600 on a pair of virtual shoes at the current market rate. The digital shoes are as a non-fungible token, NFT, that sudden spikes in demand for the Solana network and Binance savvy chain so can be resold later, however the entry fee is still not a trivial sum for any casual player. Over time, Step N users will need to accumulate new kicks to level up. The usual return on investment requires about a month upon which people can begin generating income of up to several thousand dollars per day depending on their level, activeness, and the current price of step N tokens. In other words, the game can be quite lucrative. In the eyes of some gaming veterans, the gameplay of most existing GameFi apps is easy and mindless. Axie Infinity, for instance, features cute blob-like creatures that fight in simple battles. Thusly, Web2 gaming incumbents are entering GameFi in droves, pledging to take quality back to the business. Huang begged to differ. A lot of the AAA games overemphasize aesthetics and large budgets, however they aren't really that innovative when it comes to gameplay, whereas some simple-looking games like Plants vs. Zombies come with brilliant gameplay that makes them last, said Huang, who ran his own gaming studio in China before moving to Australia a decade prior. Numerous newcomers to GameFi are blindly pursuing AAA productions, he continued. Be that as it may, if they weren't already successful in Web 2, how could they be in Web 3? Some simple-looking games aren't that simple behind the scene, for instance, how we design the economics of our app. Is it sustainable? Other critics question the financial sustainability of play to earn. Keeping up with such a business model means the gameplay needs to be either habit-forming to the point that users continue to play without cashing out their coins, or that the app continues to attract new users who purchase and only to replace those who cash out. Critics have even attracted parallels between play-to-earn to pyramid schemes. Axie Infinity hasn't been able to support its meteoric rise. Sky Mavis, the Vietnamese gaming studio behind the game, was valued at $3 billion in a $150 million financing round last October. However, its token has lost over 80% of its value since peaking in November at $160, and its sales volume has nosedived from $754 million to simply $5 million. 
Losing a few thousand dollars isn't the end of the world for a large portion of Stepan's users, who are 20 to 40 year olds from affluent